Hello everybody and thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 2, Episode 14, John Brown's Body, starring Leora Dana as Vera Brown, Russell Collins as John Brown, and Hugh Marlowe as Harold Skinner. And overall I didn't really care for this episode too much. It's mildly amusing in parts and it is watchable. Uh, the episode has a pretty good premise for a plot but it never really goes anywhere. And for a show built on suspense, it's not really all that suspenseful either, in my opinion. And the ending is just very strange. So we start with two of our lead characters, John and Harold. And they're in business together, and they're having a business disagreement. They're in the furniture business. John pretty much wants to keep things the way they are. Harold wants to try out some new ideas, basically. Uh, so that's happening. And then John's wife, Vera, comes in. And winds up having a lunch date with Harold because John says he's too busy to go. So they have a chat at the restaurant. And uh, it turns out that Vera really likes Harold's business ideas. And it turns out that Harold likes Vera. So we go to the next scene where Harold visits the Brown house. Uh, saying, claiming he's looking for John who's not there. But it turns out this is all a plot just to see Vera. And it turns out they have now been seeing each other as a couple. And they've been scheming, uh, they show them kissing, things like that. And they also come up with this plan to make John think that he's going crazy. So uh, probably not a good idea as things like this usually don't work out in Alfred Hitchcock Presents. So the plot is put in motion. Uh, it turns out that John doesn't sign some contracts he was supposed to sign. He supposedly left the safe open. Uh, whether this stuff was all Harold's doing or not, we don't know for sure, but I suspect it was. So John is now questioning himself a little bit. So we go further in time. Uh, I'm not sure how far. They don't specifically say. But Vera's talking to a doctor who's been invited over for dinner. She says she's concerned because John doesn't remember everything he's supposed to. He gets confused. So the doctor recommends that John visits a specialist. And then we get this strange scene where John goes to visit this specialist and he like has these strange like kind of images in his head. And while Vera's on the phone with Harold telling her, you know, that their plan is working, John leaves, he runs out of the doctor's office yelling, and then we hear Harold on the phone laughing and I think this was supposed to be funny, but it just came across as weird, but it's almost worth seeing just for how strange the scene is. So we go to the next scene and it turns out John has been committed somewhere. It's like some kind of rest home, I think. I don't see any other people there, but I'm guessing that's what it is. And he's painting, and his picture is pretty amusing anyway. And um, we're not sure at this point, really, if John is faking or if he's really crazy or what's going on. There's a lot of confusing plot points to this episode. But you kind of just got to go along with it. And like I said, it's mildly amusing. So we also learn in the meantime that Harold is not doing well. The company's not doing well. I guess his ideas must not have been as good as he thought they were. So Harold goes to Vera saying they need money, but he can't get a loan. Only John can get an, a loan because he has the recognizable name. And they need to raise like $50,000, I think, which is still a decent amount of money in my opinion. So uh, they need help with this loan. So now they decide maybe they need John after all, and they're going to try and get him out. Uh, things aren't as great without John as they thought they were going to be. So Vera pays John a visit, and John seems to be doing okay. He seems to be happy where he is without the stress of the company, but Vera really needs John to come back. So eventually Vera hears from the doctor that John will be allowed to come back. So her and Harold pay him a visit, and they're uh, still kissing, so I guess their relationship is still going on. They decide they're going to bring John home, and all their problems will be solved. But in a very bizarre ending, the doctor says John cannot go home because it turns out when he was signing, I guess they were his release papers, he signed his name George Washington. So uh, I would say Vera and Harold, their business is probably going to go under. So like I said, a very strange ending to kind of an odd episode. It's kind of a mix of drama and humor that only works probably about half of the time. And like I said, it's an interesting premise, but there's never really a lot that goes on in the plot. It never really builds up to anything. It kind of just has a twist ending that's uh, that's interesting, I guess I'll say. So overall, John Brown's Body, while watchable, is a disappointing episode in my opinion. And I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. And in my opinion, this is not really an essential episode in any way. You don't really have to watch it unless you're watching every episode of this show. So 2 out of 5 for John Brown's Body. And as always, thank you very much for watching.